What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again back with another video. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below to my boy Rob Dollar. He's doing a giveaway on the Cement Force that's coming out next month. You can go check it out. I'll leave a link to the video. You can join his giveaway and do that on the Cement Force. I'll probably be doing one on the Cement Force as well near that time, but he's doing one actually right now live. So go tune in and do that and get your chance to win a pair. But today I wanted to do a video on something a little bit different, which is my camera setup. Right now I'm shooting on my Canon G7X, which I got recently, so the quality is a little bit different. But I wanted to break it down to you guys on my full camera setup when I shoot these videos, so you guys can see for yourself how it is and what it takes to actually do these videos. First and foremost, before I get into that, I got this new tripod in today. The tripod I got on right now that's just shooting actually broke, and I wanted to go for something a little bit lighter, something that's a little bit more mobile that uh, I can use, you know, for my videos. And uh, I actually got this off eBay. This is the first time I'm actually opening it. I'll leave a link to this, uh, all this stuff. Everything in here, I will leave a link to the description so you guys can go pick it up yourself. And this is by company Xingding. Xingding, I don't know. It's, it's like a Chinese, some Chinese stuff. But it was it was sent from here in, a, in America. So here is the actual tripod. Hopefully I can get some good, nice shots with it. Oh, it came with tools. The tools like the Titan stuff as well, which is pretty dope. Very, very light, and this is gonna go very good with basically with with my uh, with my girlfriend. What my girlfriend bought me for uh, Christmas. Very, very light tripod. The one I got now is a heavy duty guy. It still works, but a piece of it broke, so it's kind of it's kind of iffy, spiffy on it. But this guy is actually good looking. It can turn into a monopod as well as a tripod, so it got many different features on it. Damn, this is yeah, this is exquisite. And I'm pretty sure this right here is like the ballpoint the, yeah, where the camera goes on. Damn, this is this is fire. It's way better than I expected. The material on here is A1 steak sauce. So this is a new camera, uh, new tripod I got for like 50 bucks on eBay. You can go cop it now. It's very heavy. It's not heavy. It's very light, but the material is definitely like uh, like a steel or aluminum, and it'll go well. I'm gonna show you guys my book bag and stuff too that I got that will go along with all this, and you'll see why I got this. But this is definitely a good mobile tripod. So on the go when I'm traveling. So as you can see, I got my book bag on tripod right there. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty good in there. And I could not do that with the previous tripod. So. We're good to go, and this thing, man, it features, you know, everything. Oh, my damn, the damn thing slid out right there. But this thing right here is the, actually the book bag that my girl got me for Christmas. I don't have nothing in here right now. But this is also, if you're a traveler and you do photography, I mean, this is it. You can put the camera, let me show you this. You can put the camera facing down in here with the lens going down, and it's like, in the back of the camera will be right here. Put your lenses in here. You can you can rearrange all this and put shoes in here, stuff in here, stuff in here, and then last but not least, you can put your laptop in there. So it's just this is the perfect setup for traveling. I'm ready to get ready for 2016 for this traveling. And I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys. I'm looking at the screen on top of this damn camera. That's a bad thing. But yeah, that is that part of the setup. Next up I got is my, of course, the main thing that does it all, the Canon 6D. Got this, what, like two years ago for about like two to three grand. Canon 6D, I've been doing it forever. The bottom here is an extended battery that I use. This keeps the battery charged for like a day, a full a day to a day and a half of shooting and whatnot. It'll keep it fully charged. It gets the job done. It's just magnificent. I can't go wrong with that. It's the Canon uh, 6D right here. And then I added on with that the Rode mic, which uses to make the you know the audio quality even better. Um, I'm not using it now. I'm using all the G7 qualities of the camera, which is not good. I mean, which is not bad. It's actually a really great camera. But this right here, along with that tripod, and we basically got most of the stuff here. You know, shooting. This is this that part. But let's go ahead and move on to like the lighting and my book bag and my camera and my, my computer and stuff as well. Let's move on to that as well. Let's go. Right here we have the two of my my lights systems. If I can get around this here, two of the lighting systems that I use, and basically, you know, that gets the job done. Uh, I will leave a link to these in the description too off eBay. I think this can, I think this costs for these two big ones because I have three other ones that I don't use, but these right here I think cost around one to two hundred dollars. Very, very good deal on, online. And I'll find out. This is the actual old tripod I was using right here. 
and what broke about it was and it still is a good tripod but it's not a mobile tripod but broke is this thing so this it has no more of this i can't like lock it it'll always be like loose like that at the bottom moving on shout out to everybody on twitter right there this is the um the new asus i bought right here and man recently i messed it up i don't know how it got a dent right there and it, by doing that, it gave me this, it's called a pressure mark. And you can see it in black right there. Hold on, let it focus. That black, and that black sometimes get bigger and it gets smaller. It's really, really weird. But uh, I gotta figure out how to fix it. It's, it's something happened here. I don't know what the hell happened, but this is where uh, the magic happens. And um, and then, uh, you know, last but not least to the magic part, we go to the program that does it all. There's the software that I do my editing, Sony Vegas Pro. So yeah. All right guys, thanks for tuning in once again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the camera setup. I just dropped it specific, specifically for you guys and, and girls out there. So if you think about doing stuff like this, you can kind of see what it is and what I use to do the things I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, you comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. It's your boy Tony D2Wild, checking in, checking out. Peace. Oh, shit.